Should we start? Yeah, sure. Right. What's the first thing? So the first topic is Instagram Live. Yes. So this is going live as we speak. It's gone live in the States. Uh, so those users, Instagram, since Facebook took it over, has just been expanding, expanding, expanding and becoming uh, you know, a really great way to engage with uh, mm. predominantly now I'd say a younger audience, mm. anywhere from what would you say, kind of 9, 10 up to perhaps 40, would yeah. you say? I think beyond yeah. that, there's not so many users. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so I think if you're selling to kind of the 50s plus um, Instagram, you're not going to get a lot, lot of traction yet. But if it's anything like the other social networks, then that's going to happen eventually, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so mainly it's going live. So you think of all the platforms you can go on live now. So you've got Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, uh, Instagram, yeah. Plus, there's a raft of live apps as well. Yeah. So yeah, they're all going that way. And, and you know, I predicted this a year ago that live would be the big thing. So within Instagram, we've seen a couple of people using it. I've seen a guy called Gary Vaynerchuk using it. it looks very simple to use. You just hit the big live button. You go live straight out to your Facebook audience, and across the top where you see people's stories in the little circle. Uh, that is now, it kind of pulsates to show that, and it says live underneath. I think you can, uh, I haven't seen it, I haven't checked it yet, but I can only, think you can only watch it whilst it's live. You can't watch it after that. Okay. But yeah, I'll, as more and more people start to do it. I think we'll get it here in the UK, probably, I haven't checked today, I should see if it's uh, probably in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Two to four weeks at maximum. You've got to remember that this kind of new technology uses a lot more of their computing power at their they're in, so they don't roll it out to everybody in one foul sweep. Uh, so yeah, I think that's one of the. I'm just going to see now, see if there's anybody going live. It does stand out if they're going live. So what I was talking about was these little circles here, and what you'll do is if somebody is live, it pulsates. Just checking now, it is that new. It's highly unlikely I'm going to find someone. Uh, loads of people actually. Okay, let's try on. Blooming Social Media's channel. Hit the home button. Uh, yeah, loads of stuff to watch on there, but nobody live at the moment. Mm. But it is that new. Yeah. A lot of people are still really uh, reluctant with life across all the channels, but I think it's going to be a bit of a conditioning exercise. Yeah, the I more people so. see it, the more yeah. people will get comfortable. Exactly. You know, people used to be really occasionally about sharing pictures and video and yeah. now they do it all the time yeah so it'll happen yeah so facebook live massive sorry instagram live massive thumbs up i think it's the right way to go what else we got uh big update to facebook messenger which we've just checked out a little bit and played around with for a few minutes um they're trying to take on snapchat oh, big time by uh putting in uh, all kinds of things you can do with your pictures and videos like filters and yeah funny effects on the face and stuff like that so they didn't have the lenses so where oh, you kind yeah. of on snapchat where you hold your thumb on the face and then you can wear hats and stuff like that i didn't notice That's, that in i there. didn't see that it might I, be there i think it might be coming yeah. uh so if i go into messenger so those of you who haven't used messenger you're looking for the little lightning type uh, there we go down here yeah that's the one uh click that make sure obviously you've updated it in your app store or your play store and you'll notice the big difference is the big blue circle at the bottom mm. hit that and then it goes into a, 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 an interface that very much looks like Snapchat, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I would say it's actually easy to use. Would you say so? Uh, yeah, I don't really use Snapchat much, but I, that was pretty quick yeah. to get the handle. Yeah, you know, and, and basically, if you hit, tap the button once, you take a picture. And if you tap it uh, and hold it, so let's try doing that now. There you go, I took the picture of the Mevo camera. And if you hold it down, it then takes a video. Yeah. Not sure on the length of that video yet. I haven't really tested it. That is a really awful picture again. <laughs> Let's try again. So I'm going to hold it there. Better. Oh, it's still an awful angle. Let's do it a bit lower. <laughs> yeah, that's a really, really weak. In fact, I don't I just do it this way. So if I flick that round, where's the camera flicky round? Can't see it. Uh, oh, that one. Yeah. Yep. That. So, to take a picture of the Mevo camera that we were sat in front of. There you go. So, there's the picture itself. And then you just get a load of different kind of controls at the top. So, uh, I can put text, I can scribble on the screen, I can add little kind of stickers and images in there, yeah. which is really nice. So, if we stick a oh my god in there, there we go. 
just tap off the screen. There we go. And a little rainbow there as well. There you go. So you can just add little bits of uh, text and stuff. And then when you're ready to go, you just hit the send button. And then it'll ask you who you want to send it to. So I'm going to send it to Jay. You haven't got your phone next to you, have you? No, have you? Yeah. Oh, let's have a look what it looks like there. And it goes, just like any other message would go. So Jay should get message. Should come through. Should. <laughs> I felt it go from here. They might want to work on the speed of yeah. the messages going through. And the other thing is it is quite new and I may have stopped it before it fully went. But really, really easy to use. It'll come through. Uh, I, you know, I've always struggled with the Snapchat interface because there's lots of swiping left, swiping right, yeah. swiping up, swiping down. Yeah. Uh, so for me, actually, it gives me all the luxury, all the, the fun elements that I had of Snapchat, but actually the interface is a lot simpler. Yeah. So I, I think, think so. for kind of my generation, the 30, 40 plus, it's going to be easy. And I think that it may even add some crossover to Snapchat, so people will get comfortable using the features of, that, that we've just seen in Facebook Messenger, and then they'll feel a bit more comfortable using Snapchat. Mm. Or it might have the opposite effect. A lot of those people just won't go near Snapchat now because they can do it this way. Could I don't be, know, it's yeah. early days. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, what else we got? Uh, something else that Facebook are doing, uh, something that's been in the news quite a lot recently, is about fake news on Facebook. Yes. A lot yeah. of controversy about it. And yeah. uh, basically... Just recently, Facebook have announced that they're going to start flagging up fake news items. So I'm not sure how that's going to work, how you can say what's fake and what's not. Yeah, I knowing Facebook, that's probably going to be community-driven. Mm. So I wonder whether they'll have a feature in there where you can mark something that you believe is fake news, and then once you know that it hits a threshold of so many people marking it as fake, then they, they'll, they'll, they'll explore it. I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah. It needs to be dealt with because there's a lot of misinformation and fake news flying around now yeah, you exactly. know it's the yeah. biggest communication platform on the planet now so you, it's going to attract people spreading malicious stories that, uh, and fake stories and i think because of the whole trump uh, election and all the, the kind of fake news that was flying around then they've got to do something with it because it otherwise people will become they won't, won't trust what they're reading on facebook yeah but i think it's it's more than just facebook as well because you saw a lot of it was on twitter as well yeah and even Real news is, is a bit, you know, what do you take for what do you take to be the truth nowadays? Oh, that's a big issue, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, too deep for this conversation, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. So I'll be interested to see. I've seen a screenshot of them, kind of how they're going to try and manage that, but we'll see. Yeah. What else we got? Uh, another item about Facebook: Facebook Video, a new thing. Yeah. So Facebook Video is there, uh, but at the moment, and we were chatting about this earlier, there is no especially on the, on the on the mobile platform, there's no real discoverability hmm. for video. So I can watch a video and then all it will do is it will little circle come and it'll automatically play the next video, but you're going to get to choose what the next video is. You get a little bit more choice on the desktop. Mm -hmm. So when you're watching a video centrally, then you get some other options down the side, which is very YouTube-y. Yeah, yeah. But the discoverability on the mobile app, which is where most of us are using Facebook, yeah, exactly. it's just not yeah. there. Yeah. So, you know, you... I just think it's weak. So what they're going to do is, if you'll notice at the bottom of your Facebook app, there's a little uh, Facebook Marketplace uh, little shop. Yeah. That's going to replace with a, a like a play button. Yeah. And I think what you'll do is you'll go into there, and that was where all the video stuff can be discovered. Whether they can have trends in there, and uh, whether it will start to show you kind of videos that you like, because it knows, yeah, Facebook knows so much about us now. Uh, and it'll just, and um, perhaps even the search in there would be brilliant. You know, if, if Facebook is going to be serious about competing with the likes of YouTube, that needs to happen. It needs to happen on here. Yeah, definitely. You know, I really like the way the YouTube mobile app works. It's really easy to find new videos. I like and that, yeah. The search is brilliant. It is good, yeah. So that could be a real game changer because yeah. YouTube have had a monopoly on video for so long. Facebook have, have made great inroads, but they're still not touching YouTube, really. Mm -hmm. That little change... It seems like a little change here. It's probably a big change in Facebook. Will make all the difference. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Uh, Instagram uh, just reported that. Clicked on somebody gone live. <laughs> yeah. Instagram just reported that they've reached 600 million users. Yeah. Uh, and I also read that in December 2014 they were at 300 million, and the last 
hundred million users have come from just the last six months. Yeah, that so they grow rapidly. Is, that growth is phenomenal. Yes. Uh, and I, I can see that continuing. Yeah. It was interesting when they bought Instagram, nobody really, you know, there's a lot of guesswork about how they were going to run it yeah. and where they're going to take a lot of those Instagram features and, and move them into Facebook. But I think fa Facebook team knew that we were moving more towards messaging apps. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they were right. They bought that messaging app at the right time. They tried to buy Snapchat, but it wasn't happening. And I think Instagram is going to be a major kind of marketing platform in the future. I've been doing some testing with marketing on Instagram. 600 million people is a lot of people to market to. Yeah. Uh, but what, you know, Facebook, I would say recently I've seen that Facebook engagement on ads is about three to four times better than it is on Instagram. Yeah, exactly. So at the moment, I don't think people are conditioned for adverts on Instagram. Yeah. I just don't think they like them. The format's very different. Yeah. Uh, so, But we'll keep, keep a keen eye on that. You know, are they going to get another 100 million in six months? I, I, I'm guessing they will. It's getting some momentum now. Probably, it's because yeah. all of the kind of, you know, 11 to 18 or 11 to 21 year olds, most of them are on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems to be one of the channels of choice. Instagram, Snapchat are the kind of biggest for them. Now we're going into the older age group, so they're all coming on. So, you know, will they get to a billion users? I've got no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. they probably will. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Facebook have been busy because uh, there's another story. Uh, they're testing a version of their own custom geo filters to compete with Snapchat. Yes, so geo filter is a horrible term, and most people don't get what that means. Hmm. But for any Snapchat users uh, out there, when you take a picture or a video, if you swipe across the screen, if you're within a geographical location where a geo filter has been created, one second. Uh, where the where they've created the geo filter. Just make sure we still have sound. Where that filter has been created, uh, then you can select it from a choice. Mm -hmm. So definitely, if you've been down to London, wherever you go, you can swipe across and get all these really nice kind of overlays over your image or your video. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, most people and most businesses don't realise that you can you can do them really cheaply. You know the design. Is the difficult bit yeah because there's some quite strict rules about what you can and can't have for instance you can't get a phone number within your link uh, within your geo filter you can't have a web address so it's quite limiting in that way but for marketing a venue you know if you run a concert hall or a music venue or a nightclub even then geo filter is definitely the way ahead yeah. and you know snapchat were the first ones to come up with that and it was a genius idea absolute genius uh, and Facebook would be mad not to get in on the game. Uh, you can have geo filters for massive events like Glastonbury. Yeah. So everybody around Glastonbury can swipe through and they'll get all these different kind of Glastonbury filters or might be one for a certain band that's coming on, you know, Arcade Fire are coming on, it'll be an Arcade Fire filter. Yeah. Okay. Massive marketing capabilities and I think, although well, I've not explored it in depth, whoever creates that filter then you get some analytics of how many people used it. Uh, how many times it was used, how many people saw it but didn't use it and stuff like that. So I think for marketing, you know, if you run any kind of festival, you need to be all over geo filter filters. Yeah. And Facebook know this now. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, finally, Facebook are trying to unify the sort of messaging inbox. Yes. Trying to get everything together instead of all being on different sets. Yeah, weirdly, I was having a look today, I tested that at the weekend and one of the Facebook pages that we manage had it. Yeah. And it's really well done. So across the top, it's got Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, I think it was, uh, personal and Facebook pages if you manage them. Yeah. And it's all, so all your messages come into that one box and it makes life literally. It's a little bit restricted. There's a lot of things you can't do, but you can pick up on the messages in there and keep them all in one place. Yeah. So it's a genius idea. But weirdly, I checked today and it's not there. Huh. Uh, but I think we're all getting it over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping actually it was going to be a, like a separate app, but yeah. it looks like they're just going to build it within the Pages app. Yeah, that's fair enough. It is what it is. Uh, I can't really say too much until we've full, thoroughly tested it. Yeah, that's good. So, in terms of you know the social networks now, where we sat with number of users. Well, Instagram, as we said, are at six hundred million, and that's monthly active users. So that's yeah. people that log in at least once a month. Uh, yeah, the leader by far is still Facebook with 1.79 billion. Oh, right, I didn't realise According that. to this, is, yeah. yeah, so that's pretty... 1.79, so they're about at 1.8 billion. Yeah. 
So it's, there's no doubt they're going to hit the two billion mark. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Two billion in 2017. And just to put that into some kind of context, there's seven point something billion people on the planet, and two billion of, of those seven billion are going to be accessing Facebook at least monthly. Yeah. And when you go down to, I think if you go down Facebook to daily active users, this is around about the billion mark. Mm. So that's a billion people around the world using Facebook every single day. Crazy numbers, isn't it? It is crazy, yeah. I think uh, Twitter, according to this, is only at 317 million. I thought that would be a lot higher, to be honest. Weirdly, their, their growth is kind of really stuttered. Yeah. Uh, and that's for many reasons that we're not going to get into today. Uh, I do like the update on one we didn't include in here, which has just come through, which has uh, only come through in the last couple of days, is that you could go live in Twitter, yeah. but you would hit the button to go live and it would launch a partner app called Periscope. Oh, yeah. Now, you know, this will prove me wrong now, but I tried it yesterday or the day before. If I go into Twitter, now it just goes live within oh, okay. Twitter. Yeah. So it doesn't fire out to the partner app. So let's have a yeah. quick look at that now. So which account am I in? So we're in our own account. So Bloomer Social Media Twitter account. And if I click as if I'm going to do a new tweet, go on, Jim, press it properly. There we go. So what you'll see there now is there's one button that says live. So that hasn't changed, but it used to be if you click that, it would then fire up Periscope. So I'm hoping now what it will do is just shoot up a, a live window. Yes, there you go. So it actually stays within the Twitter app. Yeah. There's not a lot of people. I didn't even know that was there, to be honest. Yeah, so it's always been there, Yeah. Uh, but not a lot of people know to use it. No. Uh, I think for certain people, if Twitter is kind of their go-to channel, going live in Twitter will really stand out. Mm. It's hard to stand out on Twitter, yeah. but going live in it now could be a real advantage to some people because there's not many people doing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so I'll be interested to see where that goes. I think we'll do some testing over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, not the next couple of weeks, it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely early in the new year. Yeah. Okay, what else we got? So then, yeah, then just to round off the numbers, uh, Pinterest is on 150 million. Nice. And LinkedIn, 106 million users. Yeah. Monthly active users again. Monthly so, active users, yeah. Uh, so Pinterest, again, it's still it's seeing steady growth. Mm -hmm. Not like it did do in the early days. It was always kind. Of, it was always sat there in the background. Pinterest just steadily growing. Uh, I haven't touched it for months until recently, and then I'm doing a project, and I put together a Pinterest board and start dropping images in it, and it's just perfect for that. Yeah. Uh, it's still predominantly female. Mm -hmm. You know, I think something like seventy percent of the users are female. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and I think because of the nature of it, that that's the way it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, I do think that LinkedIn yeah. is in need of a refresh. It's got lots of weakness. I still love it. Loads of weaknesses within LinkedIn. You know, the share button is rubbish. Yeah. The like button acts like a share button. Uh, I think the interface is pretty pap. Uh, the mobile version is really really bad. But Microsoft have purchased it now. I really like what Microsoft have done with uh, doing with computers at the moment and the the, uh, the Microsoft OS Windows. So can they do something? I hope they can. Yeah. Because I still feel I've, I've mentioned this before. I, do, I still feel that LinkedIn uh, could be under threat. Facebook would just only have to turn around and launch something like LinkedIn within Facebook, and that's LinkedIn gone. Exactly. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of people who were posting kind of blog posts. Uh, into LinkedIn aren't doing it anymore because engagement is really low. Yeah. They, they need to do something. It's yeah. just it's faltering a little bit. It's still the best place to kind of do your professional connections without a doubt, don't get me wrong. Mm. But moving forward, they have got to sort it out. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's it. There's a, a lot happened in the last week, don't you think? A lot for Facebook in, in particular. <laughs> yeah, lots of movement on Facebook. Yeah. You know, you look at the figures though, they're, they're phenomenal. Yeah. I think. I read somewhere it was 90 or 95 percent of their revenues coming from Facebook advertising, wow. which is massive. Mm -hmm. Still, a lot of local businesses don't get Facebook advertising. Uh, we have spoken, haven't we, about perhaps putting on a uh, Facebook advertising for business owners course or presentation early next year, which I think might be beneficial. If you're a local business, especially if you've got a venue, then you should be all over Facebook advertising. Yeah. It's so cheap. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Running some adverts at the moment for a client, and we're getting nine pence a click. Now try and do that anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Any other kind of display network like Google Ads, 
you're not going to get a nine pence a click locally. It just doesn't work uh, in the same way. So yeah, exciting times. Uh, Facebook is really killing it at the moment. Nobody else is really touching them, are they? No. Okay, that's it. Thanks for joining cool. us. Uh, Jay, thanks. This is, is this the second one? Second you one, yeah. You seem more relaxed. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do a lot more of this coming forward. We're going to try and make this a regular thing, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we were going to try and do it every Tuesday, but I don't know. We'll, we'll pick a, we're still kind of learning our way. We'll get into a schedule so you always know that that time on that day is going to happen yeah. because I think people will come to expect it and more likely to tune in. Uh, but that's it. Are we going to, not going to be able to get, are we going to get another one in before Christmas? I think we should. Should we try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll try and get another one in before Christmas, probably midweek next week. Yeah. Uh, just like a bit of a wrap up. Uh, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, everybody who tuned in. If you're watching this after, uh, if you're watching it on Facebook, you can still bang a question in the bottom on the comments and we will still answer it. Uh, we also will upload these onto YouTube. Jay will do that after this. Yep. Uh, and if you want to, do follow us on our YouTube channel. It's not difficult to find us. Uh, we are going to be definitely in the new year. We've pulled a really tight team together now, and I'll, we'll tell you more about that in the new year, I think. Mm. We'll do an update around the team, shall we? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we'll update you more about what's happening within the team. We're kind of geared up now to do a lot more video content, a lot more of this stuff. Uh, and I think the plan is we're going to still going to keep this within the Blooming Social Media Academy group. Yeah. Uh, and what we'll do is a lot more tutorials, a lot more training, uh, a lot more how to's so if you've got any of those that you want us to do just you know let us know and we'll start building a list of how to's uh, can't do anything too complicated uh, because it just gets a bit boring to be honest but really quick how to's you know top three things you can do to you know uh, supercharge your Instagram little things like that and show them through uh, the LinkedIn five a day was really popular actually yeah, a lot good. of people love that yeah, yeah. so thanks for tuning in thank you and we'll speak to you again soon end that broadcast <laughs>